Hello guys, welcome to the episode 25 of this series of tutorials on creating the web API and consuming it with MVC in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall continue to upload one episode every day. I shall walk through adding the essential NuGet packages with this client MVC project. Since these episodes and the code base are built in continuation from the previous ones, I strongly suggest you to go through them before coming to this one to get the best value out of it. There are plenty of useful takeaways if you view the tutorials through to the end. Finally, a request to subscribe to the channel and share it with the like-minded. So, so, accordingly, by the end of this lecture, we shall know the essential NuGet packages to install for this project and have these NuGet packages installed. So, let's flip over to Visual Studio. So, let's, let me close all of the tabs first to clean it up, to close all tabs and it is asking me to save, ok save and then I will right click on Web API consume project which is our present MVC client project and manage NuGet packages, highlight and right click and get to the NuGet packages and no packages are currently installed, so no packages found. So I have to install three packages. So first one is Microsoft dot Visual Studio. On top, it is automatically suggesting Microsoft dot Visual Studio dot Web dot Code Generation dot Design. Okay, I will browse for this. So I will click the install button, but that latest table is 500 which is I guess for ASP.NET Core 5 or ASP.NET 5. So I will go for the latest in the 3.1 version, 3.1.4 and install it. So click on I accept in the license acceptance and it's in it is installing the NuGet package. You can see over here in the output window and successfully installed. Okay, so on this install tab, I should now find this as installed. All right, and then next one that I have to look for is newtonsoft.json. So if I start writing n, the automatically it is coming. Newtonsoft.json and latest table 1203. I think we can go for this latest table because it doesn't specify that it is um, only compatible for ASP.NET 5. So click on install. So it has already installed. You can see that uninstall button is available. So it is already installed and you can check over here. So newtonsoft.json. The third and last one that I need to install is system.data.sql client. So let's search for it this. System.data.sql client. So it is not finding anything. So this will be actually system. Let's type over here. So on top and I will click on install. The latest table version is 4.8.2. So this gives me the license acceptance which I click on accept. And it is installing this package. Now we can see here that I have all of these three essential NuGet packages that I set out to install for this MVC client project project are installed successfully. So in this lecture, I have installed three essential NuGet packages to get going with this client.